वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ क्रिकेट थ्रेल्स इन 1988 सचिन तेंदुलकर एट द एज ऑफ 15 इयर्स 231 डेज स्कोर्ड अ ब्रिलियंट 100 नॉट आउट ऑन हिज फर्स्ट क्लास डेब्यू फॉर बॉम्बे वर्सेस गुजरात एट बॉम्बे इमरान खान टोल्ड वसीम अकरम नथिंग इज एवर गोइंग टू बी इजी एंड दैट ट्रूली ग्रेट थिंग्स कैन ओनली बी अचीव थ्रू हार्ड वर्क डिसिप्लिन and to truly believe in your visions jeffrey bycott is stumped by farooq engineer of bishan singh bedi in the third test of 1967 at leeds it was one of the only two occasions he was stumped in a test match career bycott had scored a painfully slow 246 not out in the first test and been dropped for the slow scoring in the next match Gordon Greenwich becomes the eighth West Indies batsman since George Hadley to score a century on his test debut when he scored 107 versus India out of the West Indies second innings of 356 for 6 in the first test at Bangalore in 1974. Graham Hick Warwickshire batsman whose coach Bill Bounds advised Zimbabwe schoolboys when he advised a young Graham Hick to stand with his bat raised while facing adult bowlers Indian Gandappa Vishwanath and Bob Taylor two artists of their craft have eyes only for the leather sphere seemingly bowled by a left arm or a leg spinner Pakistan Hanif Mohammad could play festival cricket as well. Jim Parks and Colin Cowdery look on here as he hits out at Bob Barber's leg spin. Imran Khan in his under crackers at the SCG in 1984, a match which injury meant he could play in only as a best man and which Pakistan lost by 10 wickets. Intakhab Alam seems on move but then I don't suppose he was the target audience. In 1982, Pakistan Jalaluddin claimed the first ever hat-trick in ODI cricket against Australia. He dismissed Rod Marsh, Bruce Yardley, and Jeff Lawson. In 1990, Saurav Ganguly had recorded few songs in Bengali which were recorded by SP Music Company. which did not get popular at all, but after his success in England in 1996 In 1992 chasing 130 runs to win Pakistan was struggling at 95 for 8 then Waqar Yunus 20 not out joined with Wasim Akram 45 not out added 46 runs for the 9th wicket and won the test by 2 wickets it was a thrilling test match India celebrating their 2-1 test series victory over England in 1973 Sunil Gavaskar right arm medium fast bowler was called upon to open the bowling four times that was the plight of pace bowling in Indian cricket at that time by the end of his career Gavaskar considered 206 runs for the sole wicket of Zaheer Abbas Australian great fast bowler Glenn McGrath posed for a picture in 1990 before he introduced to the international cricket in 93 Gawadar Cricket Stadium what a beautiful sight love to spend some time and want to see some international matches at this beautiful venue if you like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you very much